Kalima! Kalima! Supernatural Season 8 Episode 3 Heartache, also known as the Winchester Brothers in the Temple of Doom. This is Jensen Ackles' third directorial episode, and I always love it when he's in the chair. I find that Jensen's episodes tend to be more character focused and much less overarching narrative like many other episodes of the show. This one, however, has the least character focus of the three, but it also isn't story focused either. It's very much a one-off app. Heartache takes us on a trip way back to season one in a way, actually. We've got our monster of the week here, and it's an original one, so no callbacks to some other thing in the show's bulky mythology, which is nice. Another thing we don't have is more of Dean's purgatory, which we've had fed to us in the two previous episodes. And yes, I'm making purgatory a thing, but yeah, this one doesn't have any flashbacks, which isn't actually surprising. Those flashbacks are very Dean-oriented, and Jensen's directed episodes usually don't go in-depth with Dean. He tends to keep away from his own character and focus more on the other mains, like Sam in The Girl Next Door or Bobby in Weekend at Bobby's. That's another thing this one doesn't have, though. It doesn't have a main character focus in it. It's more focused on, if anything, the dynamic between the two brothers and how they've changed in the past year since we've been away. And this is how it's most like season one. Sam's being reluctant about going back into the action and hunting, and Dean's annoyed at Sam for this. He feels like he's back to full capacity with Sam at his side, and he talks about how being a warrior just feels good to him. Which I think you can add as another Purgatory is Pure moment for him. And they go back and forth about this throughout the episode. Sam wants to track down Kevin, get the tablet, and tie that loose end up so that he can go back to living his normal life. Dean is pissed at this and talks about how they have a duty to protect and save people. There's a problem here though. Sam says he's never had a normal life until this past year. And I'm like, um, dude, you were in college for four years. You had a girlfriend who baked you cookies because she missed you. Then she was killed and this is how you got dragged back into all of it. But you had a normal life back then, don't you remember? So this episode is so season one that it actually acts like a do-over of sorts. Which is a shame, it didn't have to be that way. Really, they could have just mentioned how Sam got another taste of normal and he forgotten how much he missed it. That could have been even more poignant, a hark back to Sam's normal life and the tragedy of its loss in the pilot, and how now it feels like he's losing it again. That would have been great, but no, they just kind of brush it all under the rug and act like it didn't happen. That's a real bummer. Another thing they brush under the rug is how they act like Sam never had a birthday cake before. And that's done in the one flashback of the episode. But of course, like I said, it's not for Dean, it's for Sam. And it's actually this weird, bright, saccharine scene of Sam and his lady friend and dog having a birthday picnic. It's just got this bizarre sweetness to it. I don't know, it kind of jarred me a little. But yeah, Amelia, said lady friend, has a birthday cake for Sam and he acts all befuddled. But once again, uh, four years at college with his baking girlfriend, Jess, I'm pretty sure he's had a birthday cake before. In fact, remember when they did those Sam and Dean as kids things, and Dean used to steal Sam Christmas presents and stuff? I'm sure Dean's given Sammy a birthday cake even, or something like it, so what gives here? It's just weird, and I love everything else about this Return to Supernatural's roots, but not when they ignore things that were previously established and try to just redo them, essentially. Oh, and I guess I should mention the main story, too, huh? Like I said, Monster of the Week, this one rips out hearts Mullah Ram style and eats them. It's gory, and that's cool. But I think that's really about it. Yep, pretty much. So as for a rating, I'll give this a 6 out of 10. I'd give it a 7, but I think the problems it causes with Season 1 definitely hurts it. Still above average though, and definitely not a bad episode, just lacking in areas. But that's all for now, so I'll see you next week, ass butts.